Hello YouTube, Gallagher123123 here with a look at the weather app in iOS 15. Apple has made some nice changes here, including making things a bit more detailed and introducing new precipitation notifications. So I thought we'd take a look at it, so let's get into it. Go ahead and unlock my phone. Okay, there we go. And Safari. let's now go in. I have the weather app in my weather folder. Weather folder, two apps. Okay, so there it is. And weather. Weather. Carrot weather. Weather. There's the weather app. Let's go into it. Weather. Quincy. 56 degrees. Clear. High 72 degrees. Low 55 degrees. So as you heard it gives a nice summary of what the high and low temperature is clear conditions tonight continuing through the morning and it says that there are clear conditions for tonight and that will continue through the morning then i believe we get to our now clear 56 degrees hourly forecast 2 a.m clear 57 degrees so Three, four, five, six, just move eight, to the end of that here 11 a.m clear 69 degrees or if i put my finger down to the end of that day forecast today 6 p.m 6, 4, 7 p.m. We come to the 10-day forecast. Clear, high of 72, low of 55. And it says that today, the forecast is... Today, clear, high of 72, clear, high low, 72 55. low 55. Tuesday, mostly clear. And this is a 10-day forecast. Wednesday, mostly cloudy, high of 79, low of 63. Thursday, showers, 40% chance of rain, high of 78, low of 67. Okay, 40% chance of rain on Thursday. Friday, showers, 60% chance of rain, high of 74, low of 61. And more showers. Saturday, showers, 30, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, now we're Wednesday. Getting to the end of this here. Air quality, 31, good. Air quality is 31, which is the same as yesterday at about this time. And we get a bit about air quality. It's the same as yesterday. Air quality, 31. Good. And it's a 31. Quality, see more, button. And we could learn more. Temperature, button. See more. We have a map here, it looks like, of temperatures. Use sun protection, 1 0 a.m. 4 p.m. Some UV index info. Sunrise, 6, 29 a.m. Sunset, 6, 44 p.m. And we have our sunrise and sunset time. So sunrise being around 6, 29 a.m. Sunrise, I think it said. 6, 29 a.m. Sunset, 6, 44 p.m. And a sunset of 6, 44 p.m. Wind, winds from the west at 3 miles per hour. A shadow of a person on a blue surface. And we got the wind is... Winds from the west at 3 miles per hour. 3 miles per hour. Rainfall, 15 inches in last 24 hours. Next expected is 1 inch Thursday. And we're expecting 1 inch of rain or so on Thursday, according to this. Feels like 56 degrees, similar to the actual temperature. And it does feel like it is 56 out there. Humidity, 86%. The dew point is 52 degrees right now. And the dew point to give you that is 52. Visibility, 9 miles. It's clear right now. Clear visibility. Pressure, 30. Dot, pressure, 30.27 inches of mercury rising. Pressure. Report an issue. Button. You can report an issue. Manage notifications. Button. Manage notifications. Open in maps. Button. Let's go back up to manage notifications. Manage notifications. Now, when you first do this, you'll have to give it permission to track your location and send you notifications, but. Done. Button. Weather will send you a notification when rain or snow is starting or stopping. As it tells us right here, that these notifications are for when precipitation, so rain or snow, starts and stops. Now, Apple acquired the Dark Sky app about a year ago, and this brings a lot of the features that were in that over to the native weather app. Current location, my location, switch button on. And I have these on for my location. And I have them off for all the other locations that I monitor with the Pearl weather app. Pearl Rift Watertown. Switch Pearl Double. Notifications aren't supported for some locations in your list. And it tells me that Learn some more. of the locations on my list do not support notifications. Done button. Okay, so I found the done button on the top right. I'll double tap done. it. And that is a quick button. look at the weather app in Just iOS sorry. 15. Not a super detailed look, but enough to get you ready to explore it on your own. It's quite a nice upgrade. Okay, well, that's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. 
and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this iOS 15 feature demonstration. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications to learn about upcoming videos. You can also keep up to date by following me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching.